I just bumped into Hamster, who designed the DC-801 badge. And this thing, I got a sneak peek of it online, does some absolutely incredible things. This is so far beyond just like a blinky LED board into some truly cool functionality. There's a full game, there's two PCBs, you can overwrite memory on the fly in the game, and his in particular has this cool hack he did right at the bottom. But first, before anything else, how long have you been coming to DEF CON? Yeah, my first DEF CON was like DC 16, I want to say, back when we were at the Riv. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's been great. I mean, uh, with uh, well, coming to DEF CON and realizing you could have like a circuit board as a badge, uh, and then like DC Darknet having where like, hey, I can assemble a circuit board as a badge, just like kick me down the road and it's like, I got to get into that. I got to get a piece of that, so. Yeah, I mean, and this is like so far beyond. How many how many badges for DC-801 have you made? Uh, I have been involved in the last five, I want to say, the DC-801. That is incredible. What Now, let's talk a little bit about this one in particular. Can you just give me some of the high-level details about it? First off, that I'm the guy behind the hardware here. We do have a team of uh, about four different people that are doing the software. And they're the ones that really rocked this badge out of the park. I mean, there's only so much you can do with hardware. So I really appreciate the DC-801 team and uh, the really hard work they've done to make this thing super awesome. Uh, on a hardware side, what I've got here, this is uh, running with a BMD 340. So we really like this chip. They're a little spendy, they're about nine bucks a piece, but they have a lot of good stuff going on for them. They're like uh, 64 megahertz, a uh, megabyte of flash, half a megabyte of, uh, of uh, RAM. Uh, sitting on top of it, we have a QSPY chip that's a 32 megabyte QSPY chip. And what we're doing is the game engine lives in the chip and all the game assets live in the QSPY. Uh, the QSPY can be updated via the SD card. So if you want to generate new assets for a game, you can uh, uh, upload them using the SD card. Uh, we also have a USB bootloader. We have USB-C on it. So if you plug this in and hold down a special button when you power on, it goes into bootloader mode and you can update your game engine. So this is completely open source, open hardware. All the design files, all the software, everything are on GitHub. So we encourage people to hack the crap out of this. And what is that GitHub address if they want to go see it? Sure, it's uh, GitHub DC801. Excellent. So I'm seeing, I know you worked on so much of the hardware, there was the between the chip shortage between just the sheer amount of issues like we do me and gallery behind the camera do the dc darknet and work on and he's worked specifically on the badge and it is like a year in the making how long have you been working on the dc 801 badge this one in particular yeah for this particular one we got started after the last physical defcon we had defcon 27 yeah oh gosh yeah, we had our highs and lows of where like we would get excited for a, for a little while and life would get in the way or someone would get burned out for a while. And it wasn't until honestly about January of this year that everything started to kind of come together and like the awesome knob just started turning up on it and it just kind of like became this thing where it was so much better than what we expected it to be, you know? I mean, it, it really is. Like I got one of them, I got a prototype one one of your teams sent to me, Admiral Potato, he, he showed me a little bit of love. So I do have like my, my take and my video where I want to be able to play the game. But my gosh, it's incredible. So what were some of the problems you guys faced with the, you know, between the chip shortage? Did you get hit by that at all? We did somewhat. Uh, when we went to order for the BMD 340s, for instance, uh, we went to order them and discovered that we were about two months out to get the chips. So we were hoping to send them out to people earlier, but it was like, oh no, we can't get the chips. And we really want to do another run of these. We plan to try to put up a pre-order after DEF CON to get some more of these out there, but already we're not going to be able to get some of these chips until February, March of next year. That's insane. All right, jumping in, looking at the badge, how many layers are each board? Each board is two layers. I haven't done four layer boards. I really like doing two layer boards, they're simpler. But what we did is we did the sandwich. So we have our front board, and then we have this board that we're calling the art board, which of course has to be an acronym. This is the asymmetric resistive token. So the, the art board is currently just art. That's all it is. 
but in the next years, what we plan to do is to keep this front board that we have. Oh. Oh, cool. That is we, so cool. We have an expansion connector on here that we're going to update this artboard and have cool things happening on the artboard. Oh, that is so cool. My gosh. The biggest reason we have the sandwich design is we decided to go with a lipo so that you can recharge it and reuse it. But we didn't want the lipo to be exposed where you could puncture it and set off a fire. We didn't want another badge fire like we had the last time we had lipos. So, Oh, my goodness. This is so cool. The last thing I have to know is what is this at the bottom? What did you do here? Okay. Yeah, so we're out of Utah, a DC-801. There's another security conference in Utah called SaintCon. And they do great things. And St. Con, instead of the SAO standard, they do the mini badge standard, which is this one inch by one inch square, which you can see right here. So you can kind of see it anyway. Uh, St. Con last time around, uh, they had the Enigma badge, right? I'm, I'm wearing one of the St. Con shirts, actually. Yeah, I remember the Enigma badge. So what they introduced with that badge was the idea of these merit badges. So you get this little badge that you could buy at their hardware hacking village, if I could pop this off here where you buy this as an assembly, or not an assembly, has a parts kit. So you put these little boards together and they daisy chain, you put ribbon cables and you could have like a whole list of merit badges hanging off with little mini badges. Anyway, I wanted to do something interesting with the format and I had these VFD tubes laying around. So it just kind of came together. These are all individual modules. They talk to each other from side to side over serial. Inside here, there's a microcontroller on the back. The bottom board is a boost power supply that boosts the 3.3 volts up to 40 volts. Oh, wow. The front board is a high voltage switch that switches the individual elements and the top board is a tube. And then all the boards, the way they're held together is via the solder fillets in the corners here. Oh, that is so cool. My gosh, it is some incredible work. Yeah, I, I thought about making this a kit, but I, I worry that uh, people are going to uh, throw their hands up in the air with how difficult that is to solder. So, I mean, legitimately, I don't even know how you got the solder in there to hold those joints. Man, thank you so much. Thanks for taking the time, both for the DC-801 and then the add-on. Man, you do incredible work. The team does incredible work. I cannot wait to jump into the badge when I get home. Man, thank you for watching. Man, and hack on. 